this. I'm not seeing this. <gasps> Ooh la la, what have we here? <gasps> Do my eyes you see me or is this a man? It's been so long since I've seen a real man. <laughs> no offense, Sumir. <laughs> Bonjour, monsieur. Mind if I sit here? Oh, um, hello. All right, this has gone far enough. I am in charge <laughs> here true. and I mustn't. I thought you might like a nice cup of tea that will warm your pit. Oh, yes, please. No, no tea. He'll be here all night. No tea. There you are. Oh, this is just what I needed. Ah! I think I scared him, Mama. Oh, hey, the little fella. What's your name? Chip. Figures. Care for a black and mystery? I just love older men. Babette, <laughs> you are always trying to make me jealous. Well, it is not going to work this time. Me? What about you with Simone? Jacques. Michelle. Pierre. Veronique. Veronique. <laughs> Blumier, listen to me. We've got to get him out of here. Do you have any idea what the master will do if he finds out we let a stranger in? Calm yourself, Cogsworth. The master will never have to know. <laughs> and we? as I was saying, he's bound to find out sooner or later. <laughs> Should we hide him, Mama? No, no, no. Everybody, remain calm. There is absolutely no reason to panic. Lumia's right. There's absolutely no reason to panic. May I borrow that? There's a stranger here. Uh, Monsieur, allow me to explain. You see, the sir, he was set upon my words. Who let him in? I was against it from the start. Who dared to disobey me? Dear. You've all betrayed me. Who are you? What are you doing in my castle? I lost my way in the woods. You're not welcome here. I'll just be on my way. It's hideous, isn't it? Oh, no, I... Oh, you've come to stare at the beast, haven't you? I, I meant no harm. I was merely looking for somewhere to stay for the night. I'll give you a place to stay. Ah! So, oh, girls, come on. I'm just getting married. Don't tell me a little thing like that is going to change your feelings for me. Oh, no. No. Never. Good. And we'll still have a little rendezvous, won't we? Oh, yes. Yes. Always. Well, if there's going to be a wedding, I better go propose to the bride. <laughs> <laughs> Run along now. <laughs> oh, well. Anyone home? Hell, hell! Gaston, what a pleasant surprise! Isn't it though? I'm just full of surprises. For you, mademoiselle. A miniature portrait? Of you. You shouldn't have. Oh, don't mention it. You know, Belle, there isn't a girl in town who would have loved to be in your shoes. Today, it's the day your dreams come true. <laughs> what could you possibly know about my dreams, Gaston? Plenty. You've been dreaming just one dream nearly all your life. Only dreaming just one dream. Will you be a wife? Will you be some man's property? <laughs> Family tree. Oh. 
pumpkin next day. Galore. Inconceivable! Each feels six foot four! Unbelievable! Each one stuck with every Gaston team! I'm not hearing this! We keep in house with pride! Just incredible! Each day gratify! So unwettable! You are part of this ideal Picture this! A rustic hunting lodge! My latest heel roasting over the fire! My little wife uh, massaging my feet while the little ones play on the floor with the dots. Oh, we'll have six or seven. <laughs> dots? No, well, shopping boys like me. Imagine that. I can <laughs> see that we will share all that love and flies. We shall be the perfect pair, rather like my times. You are face to face with destiny. All roads lead to the best things in life are all swells that end with me. Escape me, there's no way. Certain that story will win. Oh, Bell, what would it be? Is it yes or is it oh, yes? <laughs> I, I just don't deserve you. Good job. But thanks for asking. Oh, oh you know that, Bell. <laughs> Always playing hard to get. For now! But I have Bell as my wife. Make no mistake about that. Get out of my way! I'll stop it! Is he gone? <laughs> Can you imagine? He asked me to marry him. Me, the wife of the Moorish Raven. Madame Gaston, can you just see it? Madame Gaston, his little wife. Oh. No, sir, not me. I guarantee it. I want much more than this prevention. You just missed him. Left away. Where did you get the scarf? This in the woods. Pretty nice, huh? This scarf belongs to my father. Yeah, we'll find his keepers. Lefu, I want you to think hard and tell me exactly where you found that. No. Think. Somewhere in the woods. Harder. Near the crossroads, okay? Ow! These two out there somewhere. Lefou, you have to take me back. Not the woods again. Lefou, don't you see something must have happened? You have to take me back. Not on your life. And I'll find him myself. <laughs> I was trying to be hospitable. Rubbish! Cogsworth, can you blame me for trying to maintain what is left of our humanity? Look at us! Look at you. What about me? Oh, you are always insufferable. But every day, you become a little more... inflexible. A little more tightly wound. A little more... Ticked off. <laughs> Please spare me the stupid puns. At least we are not as far gone as some of the others. You saw what happened to Michelle, no? 
she was always too vain about her looks, and that's exactly what she's become. Vanity. Little drawers, mirrors, the works. Ooh, and poor Jean-Claude. Who? Oh, Jean-Claude, you remember him? Not too bright, dumbass. A brick? The whole wall. Jean-Claude, the brick wall? Oui, that is him in the kitchen behind the stove. Oh, and you remember Guillaume, the houseboy, yes? Oh, that mealy mouth and little boot licker. I've never liked him. He was always groveling at the master's feet. He is a doormat. Perfect. It is happening faster with some of the others, but we are not far behind. Slowly but surely, as every day passes, we will all gradually become things. But why did we have to get dragged into this whole spell business? It's not like we threw a poor old beggar woman out on her ear. Well, no. But are we not responsible too for helping to make him the way that he is? I suppose so. All I know is I will eventually melt away to nothing. I only hope there is something left of me if the master ever breaks the spell. Hold on, old man. We've got to hold on. Uh, hello? Is anyone here? Hello? It is a girl. Yes, of course I can see it's a girl. <gasps> it, it is, is a girl! girl! Mademoiselle! Now, Lumia, let me do all the talking. <laughs> As head of the household, I should do most of the Sherry! talking. Sherry! Oh, well, that's all I'm asking for, Lumia. Mama, you're not going to wait for a saw. Not in a million thousand years. Not in a trillion million thousand years. Yes, dear. No, really. It's a thing that everyone's been waiting for since, 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 I don't know when. All right, Chip, what is it? There's a girl in the castle. Oh, my. Wouldn't that be lovely? No, really. There is. I now, saw her. Now, Chip, I'm not to be making wild stories, getting everybody's hopes up for no reason. <gasps> Mrs. Potts, did you hear? There's a girl in the castle. See? Told her, and she's really, really too. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. <laughs> This is it! The girl we have been waiting for, she has come to break the spell! Wait a minute, let's not be hasty! Oh, happy day, happy day! Stop it! Stop that! <gasps> we should tell the others, no? Yes, I mean, no, I mean, wait a minute, wait a minute! Hello? Is anyone here? Please, I'm just trying to look for my father. Papa, how did you find me? Oh, your hands, the cold as ice. We have to get you out of here. Belle, you must leave this place. Who's done this to you? There's no time to explain. You must go now. I won't leave you here. <laughs> Who, who's there? You know someone's there. Who are you? The master of this castle. Then you're the one who's responsible for this. Release my father at once! I am the master of this castle. I do not take orders from anyone. Throw her out! No! No, no, no! Wait! Please, can't you see he's done well? Then he should not have trespassed here. But he's an old man. He could die. He came into my home uninvited, and now he'll suffer the consequences. Please don't do anything. There's nothing you can do. Wait, please! I said there's nothing you can take do. Take me instead! No! What did you say? Take me instead. Bell. You don't know what you're doing. You would do that. You would take his place. If I did, would you let him go? Yes. But you must promise to stay here forever. No, forever. Forever. Or he dies in the dungeon. Wait, but, but that's not fair. Wait. Come into the light. Make your choice. Belle, listen to me. I'm old. I've lived my life. You have my word. Done! No, no, please, I beg you. Spare my daughter. Oh, no, wait. Take no, him yeah. to the crossroads. No, no, Belle! Ah! 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 Master, ah! Master, please. 
since the girl is going to be staying with us for quite some time, you might want to offer her a more comfortable room, perhaps. You'd even let me say goodbye. What? I'll never see him again. You'd even let me say goodbye. I'll show you to your room. My room? But I Do you thought... want to stay in that dungeon? No. Then follow. You follow me. This is your home now. You're free to go anywhere you like, except the West Wing. Why? What's in the West Wing? It's forbidden. You are never to set foot there. Do you understand? Uh, I... Do you understand? Yes! This is your room. I hope you'll be comfortable here. If you need anything, my servants will attend you. And one more thing. You will join me for dinner. That is not a request! Yes, I made the choice. For Papa, I will stay. But I don't deserve to lose my freedom in this way, you monster. If you think that what you've done is right, well then, you're a fool. Think again. Is this home? This is where I must learn to be happy. Never dreamed that a home could be dark and cold. I was told every day in my childhood, even when we grow old, home should be where the heart is. Never were words so true. My heart's far, far away. Is this home? Is this what I must learn to believe in? Try to find something good in this tragic place. Just in case I should stay here forever, held in this empty space. No, but that won't be easy. I know the reason why. My heart's far, far away, home's alive. 